Hello, this is Eric Cunningham. Today I've got a demonstration on weekly updating of a schedule, weekly baselines of the schedule, and uh, weekly variances. Now this is uh, a little bit difficult to set up, but uh, once it's set up, it's a simple iterative process and it can show at a glance to project management if you're uh, gaining ground or losing ground in the last couple of weeks. Now, first of all, uh, let's take a look at the project. Very simple project. Activities A, B, C, and D. The uh, activity bar will be in the, the normal colors. Uh, first of all, notice the data date is out here to April 21st. The project started on April the 7th. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, for the activity A, which is complete, that's the standard blue color showing completion. Activity B, it's halfway complete out to here. Now we start with the red criticality on activity B. C, red, D, red. Uh, you, you've all seen this before. On the baselines, the yellow baseline is the current weekly update baseline. That is, this baseline was created from the project after the April 21st data date was accomplished. The green line was created after the April 14th data date was accomplished. And the blue that's after the April 7th data date update was accomplished. The purple, that's, the, uh, that's simply the uh, original project baseline. Now, um, show you the bars here. Project baseline, that's the purple bar we talked about here. Primary baseline, uh, yellow. Secondary is green, tertiary blue. It's fine. Now setting this up on the assigned baseline box. You can see where the project baseline, that's this one, that's the purple bar. The primary, as I said, is the April 21st data date. Secondary, April 14th. Tertiary, April 7th. As we move into the future, this will become April 28th. The secondary will become the April 21st. Tertiary, April 14th. Uh, this column here, variance minus, day, minus baseline project finish date. That's, uh, that's pulled straight from Primavera. That compares the uh, finish date to the original baseline. On the weekly, uh, these two were created from user-defined fields, and the population was done through global change after the updating was, ac was accomplished. Let me show you the uh, global change uh, that was set up here. Weekly variance. Okay, uh, activity ID is not equal to blank. It's a good way of saying do everything. Weekly variance for this update, that would be this column right here. It's the baseline 2 minus the baseline 1. Again, baseline 1 is the yellow, baseline 2 is the green. And you can see where this uh, would be... Uh, minus one day and that would show up right here. Weekly variance last update, baseline three minus baseline two. That is the uh, blue bar finish minus the green bar finish. We cancel that out and close this. So at a glance uh, with this layout it's easy to tell how we're doing in the last, in the last uh, two updates.
if we are gaining ground or losing ground. This thing says that uh, we took our biggest hit during the update of two weeks ago. And last week's update um, wasn't nearly as bad. It'd be better if this was a plus one, of course. But uh, maybe next week it will be. Now, there's always a glitch with Primavera. Admin preferences. This particular item right here, that's under the earned value. If you use the current dates, it'll produce everything that I showed you. Now, if you go back to using the planned dates, which is the Primavera default, nothing's going to happen until I reschedule here. Now, watch the green and uh, yellow bars for this activity and this activity once I reschedule. Hitting the F9, same data date, reschedule. You can see where the, uh, for activity A, which has already been accomplished, the yellow and green bars have collapsed onto the original planned dates. On activity B, the yellow bar has collapsed to the planned dates that was done on the previous week update. Gets a little bit confusing. Uh, Primavera does confuse on planned dates for activities that are a comp that are uh, finished and that are in progress. For activities in the future, uh, planned dates are uh, same as early start, early finish. So now to make these numbers uh, uh, work again, after the rescheduling, we have to do our global change. So we should We'll apply the change, hitting yes over my, uh, on my laptop screen and I'm committing the changes. Watch the numbers in the, in the uh, first two activities, especially right here. This says that uh, last week we lost zero days. Now, if you look at the bars, comparing the yellow to the green, that's true. But that's not a good representation of what happened. So, let's close this out, set this thing back to where I had it. Reschedule. Okay, the, the bars here are what are what they should be in my opinion and now we have to rework the global change apply change yes gonna commit the changes now you'll see let me close this you'll see that we're showing a one day slide between last week's update and this week's update. You might want to you might want to experiment a little bit with this thing, but it's it's a good layout and it's a good way to show uh, what's happening on a weekly basis. Hope this helps somebody and thanks for watching.